Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. My name is Inside Gamer. Welcome to Train Simulator 2021. Today we're with the uh, On Track Simulations Harrogate version 2. Uh, sorry that this did not happen yesterday. I wanted to do it yesterday, but unfortunately I had a power cut literally at 8 o'clock last night. Um, and nothing I could have done. So here we are. We're going to do it this evening. Uh, so we've got quite a long scenario. The first scenario is quite a long one. Um, so we will be taking the uh, York to Leeds via the Harrogate loop. Um... If there is time, we will go back the other way as well. Uh, we'll see. We'll see how it all kind of plans out uh, as we kind of go along. But uh, hello to everybody that is here this evening. Who have we got so far? B.G. Hello. Francesco. Hello. Uh, Kelly Edwards. Hello. Hello. Richard. Good evening. Uh, B.G. Hello. 194. Andy's here as well. Thomas Robertson. Jake Cross. Uh, Sophie Rispin. Hello. Uh, Blue Ridge Gaming. Hello. Hello to everyone. So yeah, so look, this is new out. This is a freeware download, guys. There is a link in the description um, if you want to get your hands on the York to Leeds Harrogate Loop version 2. Um, it does require a lot of add-ons and payware requirements. So do take into fact there is a lot on this. So make sure you check them all out. Make sure you have them all before you start downloading. Again, I've double-checked mine. I'm pretty sure I have all the assets. Um, so hopefully we're not going to have too many missing assets here. For some reason when I do these, there always seems to be something missing. So we are going to be doing the 2C59-1744 York to Leeds on the direct line um, with the class AP150. Um, so it's a cold start from here. So once I take this off, we will start the uh, the plane up. Mike Ray, Jordan Crawford, hello on Facebook. Hello, guys. Hello. Okay, so look, let's just get straight into it. And I am using the power brake controller from uh, ATS as well, guys, just so you know. So here we go. We're in the train. Let's bring up our F1 here. Let's have a little look. Begin by cold starting the fifth, uh, 150 205 in preparation for the evening peak extra 1744 service York to Leeds via Harrogate. You'll then call out all stops, um, which is pretty good. The head code is 2C59. Okay, perfect. So what I'll do, I'll quickly swap over to the other camera so you guys uh, can uh, see the power brake controller in use. Okay, as you can see, we have it here. So what I'll do, I'll just uh, move this down so you can see. Master key in, master key on. Throw the reverser into neutral. We're gonna reset that. Okay, so what we need to do, we need to turn the compressor on uh, because we need to get the uh, brakes going and we're gonna start the engine. There you go. The engine will start now. We have the compressor on. Uh, we're gonna throw it on our headlights, take off the tail lights while we are here. Um, and as you can see, we're revving quite high. It's going to bring up the pressure in our brake zoning here, uh, which is good. Uh, we can sort our GSMR before we have a nice little look around on the outside here. Uh, okay. Okay, what one are we then? We're 2C59. And the signal ID is 231. There we go. We are the lead driver, we can turn our DRA off. Okay, look, if we go to the outside of the uh, 150, here she is in the northern livery. Uh, it says York, that is not correct. Uh, we're looking for Leeds. Leeds, Leeds, Leeds. No. There we go. Leeds, here we go on the class 150. Uh, what we'll do, we'll actually just have a nice little nose around here. Um, it sounds like there's something going on. Some of you just left, obviously. Okay, so this is York. The old network rail. Ah, here we go. There's some choo-choos hanging around over here. Here we go. We've got a HST that came in. That's what was making all that noise. Here we go. It's on a uh, rail tour, is it? Nice. Okay, we should probably have opened up the doors, eh? Okay, so we're back on. Uh, what time are we supposed to be leaving here? Depart at 17.44. Well, we're probably going to be a bit late. Uh, Mike, I'm good, mate. How are you? Uh, Jordan, I've just done Edinburgh Waverley to Glasgow Queen Street. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. Uh, you said plane up or I'm hearing things. Huh? Not entirely sure what, 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 what's what. Okay, I hope you're prepared for a lonely stroll between here and Harrogate. Don't expect plane sailing, however, disruption awaits your arrival. Oh, God. <coughs> okay, so, um, 
I think our brakes are doing good. We can turn off that compressor. Uh, we can release the brakes down a bit. We'll put the reverse into forward. And there we go. We've got our horns working. I'm going to just turn off volumes here very quickly. Take off the F1. Okay. I think we're good to uh, depart. I'm also, mate, just want to say, I love your streams. Cheers, mate. Mike, it's much appreciated. It's nice to know that some people enjoy what we do. Uh, trying to keep you all occupied. Okay, so we are leaving York, but expect issues. I don't really like that. <laughs> okay. There you go. As we depart York... There we go. So we're going on the Harrogate loop. We're only a two-car 150. Um, I'm hoping Adam's going to make some scenarios on this very, very soon. There are quite a lot of scenarios to pick from, but most of them are only about 30 minutes. They're just doing short runs. Um, so that's why we've gone for this one in the lovely northern livery. There we go. It's not looking too bad, is it? Okay, it's hard. Hello, hello. Welcome, welcome. Okay, we'll swap you back to this camera. I had problems with this game when I had it on PC lagging and I kept derailing for <laughs> no reason. Um, uh, yeah, I don't derail too often unless it's pilot error. Um, oh, that nice class 170. My favorite class of train. Yeah, I can't say I had that issue. Yeah, look, some some maps, it's kind of like OMSI, you know, some maps do lag a little bit. It's kind of like an old kind of processor, you know, they, you know, nothing's much changed since when it came out in like 2000 or whenever it came out. Um, yeah, some maps do have their issues, there's no doubt about it. Okay, we're going to get ready with our brakes as we arrive into Poppleton, platform number two.
Chat's very quiet tonight, guys. What are you up to? Uh, might have overshot the first platform. Uh, whoops. <laughs> I haven't driven the 150 in a while. Just overshot it. Uh, we'll be okay to get out the back doors. Uh, me and Omzi have fallen out. <laughs> Why, what's going on with your Omzi? Uh, welcome to uh, Poppleton. Hopefully that'll be the last time I'll ever run a platform. Uh, drinking. <laughs> Not much. Uh, the 158 was made in 1979 there we go uh, there was a scenario with the 158 i was very tempted with but it was going the direct route i wanted to actually do the harrogate loop that was the whole idea of the stream so okay next up will be hamilton platform number two I have no idea if that was actually a green signal or not. I'd say it must have been. I do like the class 150. It's quite nice. I like the 158s too. Uh, basically being OMSI keeps crashing and stuff. Oof. You got it on a 4 gigabyte patch and stuff, Mike. What's your processing power? It's all about your processor. Yeah, it's my PC. I'm not the best, if I'm honest, but I'm upgraded soon for Yorkshire 3. We better get upgrading pretty soon, because uh, hopefully we're going to see Yorkshire 3 in the coming month, <laughs> maybe. Q2 runs out in June, end of June, so like I said many times, uh, we're hoping for a Q, Q2 release, so... Still, uh, I've had nothing from Aerosoft or himself, so... Um, still a few weeks yet. Playing trucks in a lot, work smashing. Yeah, they're very well optimized, uh, ETS and ATS. 
I still need to do a stream with the new truck with the new DAF that came out on ETS. I'll have to do something in the next week. Trucks, nice drive. Yeah, I haven't driven it yet. It's a bit on the slow side, engine wise. But uh, yeah, look at the new wire uh, mirrorless trucks. It looks nice. It does look nice. Like I said, I'll probably do something in the uh, in the week. Okay, next stop is Hamilton platform number two. Hopefully, we don't overrun this one. Uh, I was reading on Facebook. <laughs> okay, let's make sure we slow ourselves right down this time. It's like I'm missing an asset here. Okay, stop marker. Okay, guys, welcome to uh, Hamilton. Okay, perfect. Okay, next up is uh, cattle platform number two. Falling down my chair. Uh, the physio was a bit brutal. Lots of uh, dry needling today.
Uh, Richard, Kurt might not see that because he's not a Simply Connect uh, VA pilot. You'll have to post it on the normal one for him. I have a feeling there's a level crossing missing here. <laughs> okay, so I must have a couple of assets missing again. Oh, the public house. Got some out the side, out fresco dining as well. Okay, next up will be uh, Nesbra, platform number one. That's good, a gamer. Hello, mate. Welcome, welcome. is the uh, AP class 150. We're on the new on the track simulations uh, on track simulations uh, arrogant version 2. Uh, 195 bus, hello. Uh, yeah, I'm good, mate. How are you? Enjoying the uh, Yorkshire countryside.
I'd say the developer doesn't want the keys back, mate. I did have a look at the game. Uh, there's just not a lot there. I, I don't even know if we'll have enough to stream it or record it. Yeah, we do need more people. It wouldn't work with just three of us. It has to be... If we can get the full eight, it could be okay. But it's getting the full eight seems to be the problem. Okay, so we're heading up a hill, uh, hill now to Nesbra. Uh, 194 bus, good. It's good, glad to hear that. Yeah, maybe ask him then, Glenn. Uh, what we're up to, we're looking at On Track Simulations uh, new Harrogate version 2, the Harrogate Loop. That's what we're looking at today. In the class uh, 150. Okay, welcome to uh, Nesbra. Anything up and around here? Norfolk Line. Nice little station. But yes, we need four people who want to play a brand new FPS still in development. Yep. Those files you sent for the captain pack, can I just copy them into the planes that I will be using? Yep. Uh, you need to copy those sounds in, otherwise you don't get all like the ding-dongs and all that kind of stuff. You didn't add them in. I've been adding them in after the fact. So yeah, you just literally slide them in. So say if you only want the A350, move them into the A350. And if you only want, say, the A321, same, same with that one.
Uh, I thought he put it in the normal fleet. There must be one in the normal fleet as well, Richard. I'll have to check. Okay, next stop will be Star Peck. Platform number one. We're already hitting our 50. Okay guys, welcome to Starbeck platform number one. Yeah, I thought it was in the normal fleet. Oh look, buses. Okay, still got Harrogate, uh, Hornbeam, Panel, Platform 1, uh, Wheaton, Horseforth, then into Leeds. Uh, Steak79, hello. Told him it needs a hook. Uh, reason to want to return, needs mission quests. Yeah, it's just a bit empty to be honest with you. Just kind of go around. It, it, it is empty. But look, it is early. You know, things things can only get better. So I'm sure he'll, once he adds a few more bits, yeah, things like AI could be pretty cool. Just to keep you busy if you can't find eight players, because it's one of those games, if you don't have people playing with you, you got nothing really. Okay, off to Harrogate, platform number three. Uh, Glenn Bixley, what are you streaming this evening? I haven't been around the last few nights, I've been tired. I've actually been falling asleep quite early.
I've got some demos coming out tomorrow for the Steam uh, Next Fest. I've been working on them the last couple of days. Uh, there's some videos be coming out at 6 p.m. tomorrow night, uh, as I was asked to by some uh, developers from Casto Gaming. A uh, lot of hope. Get in now. When it's free and hope it gets better. <laughs> That's true. When will I fly the Beluga? Hmm, good question. Steg doesn't like the Beluga though. Um, I'll be honest with you, it's like everything with these planes. If I don't fly them, I forget them. Now, the good thing with the Airbus is they aren't so bad. I'm actually thinking tomorrow night we're going to do a Phenom 300 flight. Uh, and then possibly we'll do a Beluga afterwards. Um, so tomorrow I reckon we'll probably do a Phenom flight. And then maybe I'll do a Beluga flight the day after. Okay. Yeah, so that's probably what we'll do. We'll probably do the Phenom 300 tomorrow, and then we'll do the Beluga. Uh, what day is tomorrow? I've already, uh, Tuesday. I'm already a stream behind, you see, because of yesterday's power cut. Uh, Friday, we have a CCS event on the buses. Um, so tomorrow is, what, Wednesday, Thursday? Yeah, okay, so we'll probably get two flights in. Phenom 300 tomorrow, followed by uh, the Beluga on Thursday. The big ugly bird. <laughs> has been a while. If I don't fly, I'll forget how to do it. You know, remember what happened the last time I tried to fly at Steg? Uh, it all went to absolute crap because I completely forgotten everything. I need to check if it had any updates as well. Anyways, guys, welcome to Harrogate, platform number three. We're crawling in. So yeah, Phenom 300 tomorrow, we'll do a private charter flight, we'll fly me and Andy somewhere. Um, I might even use it in Australia, I, I haven't, haven't decided yet, we'll see. <laughs> My fat shaming the sweet ugly bird. <clears throat> no, we don't do no, no things like that. Okay guys, welcome to Harrogate. <laughs> So far, we've had a few mission, uh, missing textures, but not much. Um, I have a feeling we're missing a couple here. Yorkshire's a national paper. <laughs> Best left at the bottom of the ocean. <clears throat> yeah, but I just forget how to fly it. So, yeah, we'll do a beluga. You're now following a delay 2E75 to Leeds. This has severe delays and backups coming towards you are due to a door fault aboard 2C54 and an er earlier signal failure in the Harrogate area. Still, call it all stations to Horsforth. Okay, great. So, we gotta, we're going we're gonna to have it testing us now. So we're going to have to keep an eye on our signals. We're already going to follow into one yellow. And look, class 170 just coming past. Nice. Need a smoke if you're going to fly that ugly thing. <laughs> yeah, so that's what we're going to do. Phenom 300 tomorrow. I might do an Australian flight with it. And uh, then we will take the Beluga. Maybe we'll fly the Beluga in Australia as well because we're coming to the end of the month of... Um, of Aussie Link, it's not it's not disappearing, but you know the debut month, um, and the new fleet will be announced next week once deliveries are finalised. Um, so yeah, we'll have plenty to do. We're all near beer goggles, although I'm not sure that even work. <laughs> okay, so we got to stop here. We can well oh, yellow, we can move again. 
Come on, we're not getting any revs. There we go. It's not that ugly. I actually like the beluga. Um, yeah, so anyways, yeah, so that's what we do then. Venom tomorrow, uh, a flight of some sort, and then uh, we'll be do the beluga. Um, we'll do the beluga Thursday, followed by Friday CCS, and then probably Saturday I'll do nothing, and Sunday, I don't know. Might do a Microsoft Flight Simulator flight. It's been a while. So there you go. There is the schedule for the next few days. Okay, next up will be Hornbeam. I might have to do a practice beluga flight away from camera before Thursday to make sure I can fly it and remember at least the startup procedure. I need to find the uh, BAE 146 as well. Been a little while since I've flown that thing. Okay, we're taking our time because there's no rush now because we're behind a severely delayed train, uh, which is going to cause all kinds of lovely problems. Okay, welcome to Hornbeam. Friday you can do the Argyle line. Uh, no, Friday there's a CCS event. I'm about to post it after this stream for the bus drivers uh, for Simply Connect. Uh, we will be doing uh, Stradiac version 3. So that is the plan for Friday night. So there you go. We've got the streams all worked out for the week. I better write that down so I don't forget what I've just said to all of you guys. Uh, there you go. Nice clean whiteboard. I've done all my jobs for today. Um, so, Venom. And Beluga. Need to make the CCS event. Okay, Hornbeam, platform number one. Oh, for God's sake. I was pressing the right button, but apparently I wasn't. Okay, so let's just get the brakes on. I like the Beluga. In the VA, the Beluga makes the most money because the amount of uh, tons it takes for what you get, even though like, we don't really do the money in the uh, VA, but when you do do a cargo flight, it, it uh, does bring in the most money with the Beluga. Helps balance the books. I need to get a cargo variant of the BAE 146 as well.
Uh, Richard is back. And a nice 170 passing us. I'd rather have done this in the 170. Oh wow, I'm missing the uh, viaduct asset big time. Uh, that is brutal. Surely there's supposed to be a wall there, no? First officer in the company, just hit that today, nice. What's that, 90 hours for first officer, isn't it? Ew, the Beluga is disgusting in my opinion, I prefer the Dream Lifter. It can fly much longer than the Beluga's one hour or so flight time. <laughs> I like the Beluga, I don't know why people hate on the Beluga so much, I think the Beluga looks great. Anyways, tomorrow night will be the Phenom 300, followed by the Beluga, followed by bus event. Oh, and James, um, I added the Chicago to the um, to the map, so next week I'll do the Chicago map for you. I'm pressing the bloody thing. Oh, for God's sake, it's done it again. Student officer is 90, oh, 150. Chicago. Yep, so I'll do a single player. Uh, it hasn't got many routes, unfortunately. They've only put like three routes on it, but um, yeah, they look all right. I brought some buses for it. So uh, yeah, next week we'll do a single player BCS where we'll actually look at it. Okay, next up will be Pinal, platform number one. But I need to fly these planes because I, I forget how to fly them. <laughs> Just like the B8. Well, I'm saying I don't know how to fly any of the bloody planes. I should have a flying lesson on Friday as well, guys. Um, you'll be glad to know. And that would be the first recorded one. Now, there's certain things I needed to do the uh, record the uh, audio and the ATC and stuff through the headsets. Um, those wires probably won't come in time. So this one, I'm not sure how I'm going to do it. Um, but we'll work it out. We'll work it out. Richard, you're doing your first battle. You've had that game ages. I once again request you to say Chicago randomly every 30 seconds. Chicago. I want to go to Chicago for have a pizza pie. On the ground or in the air? I will be in the air. Flying through the air. I was in the air in the last one as well. Um, but I only got about half an hour up in the air. 35 minutes I fl uh, my flight time was logged up. Because uh, there was a good hour on the ground. Um, but yeah, this one will be in the air. Um, so this one will be recorded on Friday. Like I said, I don't have the wires. They're probably not going to be here in time. Oh, I'm going to overshoot this one. Um, it's quite complicated to actually record the audio properly inside the aircraft well. Um, there was quite a lot of extra bits that I needed that I didn't think I was going to need. Um... I actually wanted to record it through the GoPro, but because I have the uh, the GoPro 5, the wire is just absolute in Europe at the moment. You can't find the wire. Um, did you finish the ground score? Is it different over So it's a little bit different over here, James. So um, the next few lessons will probably be in the air, and then uh, I'll be back in the classroom again um, doing, like, you know, the uh, they've got to do all the talking to ATC ground stuff and... You can mix it however you want, really, as long as you complete the hours before your exams. Um, so, yeah, you, you can kind of mix it up as you please. It takes a while to gather resources to make potions. Oh, okay. 
Yeah, so yeah, so it's a little bit different here, just a little bit. Um, as long as you put in the hours that are required, it doesn't matter how you do them. Um, but Friday here, fingers crossed, there's no rain. Uh, we're absolutely pissing with rain today all day again. Um, so yeah, hopefully up in the air on Friday. Like I said, I don't know how it's going to record the audio because I don't have the right things. So I don't, I, I'll see how it, how it sounds. Um, but going forward after that, hopefully I'll have the right equipment that we need. Um, that I'll plug straight into the uh, the headsets and record that way. <clears throat> we'll see how it all kind of pans out, I suppose. Uh, Colin Ford, what station am I coming up to? Uh, we're coming up to Wheaton. But this area, I'm definitely missing a few of the assets by the looks of it. I thought I had them all. Do you have uh, Dasani water where you live and will you rent a plane or buy? Um, <clears throat> so in, in the immediate short term, rent. Um, because the club actually has very reasonable fees um, so I will be renting to start with um, but going into next summer kind of spring see the main the main focus for me now really isn't a plane the main thing is I need to get the hours required I need to get the exam sat and I need to do the the flight exam before October okay so that's my my big goal now is that's my focus because um, if I don't get the flight hours in before October, even though the air school has a hard tarmac, it is open all year round. Um, but we have severe wind weather here. So I live on the very west of Ireland, so um, we get real bad weather. Um, not the best for flying small GA aircraft around microlights and like Cessnas. So if I can get the odd hour in the winter, I will do it. Um, but if I haven't had it completed, I won't really be doing it then until probably March, April of the next year, um, which is a long way to not fly with just the odd hour or two. So to be honest with you, I'm just real focused on um, getting the license done and then we'll see. But I would like to buy. Now, I have a friend that might be interested in uh, doing it as well and uh, it'd be even better if he is. So we'll see. We'll see how we all kind of go with all that. Favorite European airliner? Um... To be fair, like, I've never had any issues with EasyJet. Uh, Ryanair, every time I fly with Ryanair, I'm always delayed or something goes wrong. But then, look, when you pay, like, 10 quid a flight, I don't really mind being delayed. Um, yeah. Uh, most of the time, that's who I pick or I fly with. It's usually Ryanair or EasyJet. Um, I've flown BA once. Yeah, BA was actually real nice, actually. The people were really nice as well. Um, but it's just expensive. So I suppose if you're looking... I mean, you can't beat Ryanair. Look, people give them sh crap about, you know, the way they land and all the rest of things. But at the same time, they can't be matched for price. Even EasyJet doesn't compete, really. Uh, you know, I, I can fly to Tenerife for less than 20 euros sometimes, you know, if you get the deals and whatever. Like England to Ireland, you know, if I have to go back or whatever, you get a flight for less than... Uh, you know, 25 euros return 
You can't beat it. Yeah, so that's the main thing. I, I have to get the flight hours in. Now, again, that's not always easy because obviously it's time dependent. It's cost dependent. Um, you know. So yeah, my, my main goal now is to uh, to just get the license done. BA yeah, can't compete in terms of pricing. It's not possible. Yeah, look, it's understandable. But so when you ask me what my favorite is, the reason why I toured like Ryanair is for the price. Yeah, you, you get the odd hour delay here and there or whatever, you know, but they still get you there and back. Um, and other than that, look, when you pay, you know, 20 quid for a flight to travel like a thousand miles or whatever, you can't you can't complain. Like, I don't know how anyone can complain about a bit of a delay by an hour or 45 minutes or two hours. Like, it blows my mind. Now, to be fair, EasyJet are good on their prices and I've never been delayed with EasyJet. So in that, that sense, that, that, that makes them good. When I've flown across Europe, like Czech Republic and stuff, I used to fly to France a lot. Uh, South France, uh, well, kind of South France in Lyon. Um, when I was living there and going home, I used to use EasyJet because they flew from uh, uh, Lyon Exubery. Um, but, yeah, I actually quite like EasyJet as well. I think they're both good airliners, really. Have you flown on Flybe? No. Flybe only really flew out of Southampton and uh, just had never had any uh, need. <coughs> Favourite livery, Lufthansa or Egin? Um, I actually don't like Lufthansa's livery. I find it quite boring. I'd rather uh, Egin. Egin or whatever they're called. Yeah, Lufthansa I find just a bit dull. To be fair, I find them both a little dull, but I had to pick one or the other. I've never flown on Air Lingers actually, that's really weird. Like, their flights are usually like BA, they're, they're a bit overpriced between here and the UK. Never flown with BA with, um, with Air Lingers, ever. Okay, next up will be Horsforth, platform number one, five miles. Easy jet. Again, I think JetBlue they're all right, but they don't they don't wow me. I like Easy Jet. Some of the Easy Jet liveries are really nice. I think it looks really nice on an A321 and stuff. I commit JetBlue has some clever names for their airplanes. The person who names them needs a raise. <laughs> <coughs> But it's the same as hotels. Hotels overbooked for no-shows. And then they have to give them to other hotels if, if they've overbooked. My brother hotel does it all the time. You mean air fungus. <laughs> yeah, I've never flown with them. Exit carriers will always try to overbook on the flights out of hubs. When they overbook, it's based off a plethora of information and data, passenger shows and no shows. <clears throat> yeah, you know, 
It's the way to make sure seats are always full, that's the main thing. Bums on seats, that's all that matters. I have one flying into cork, a twin prop scared the poor, I mean, yeah. Yeah, they used to have a few of them, that's for sure. On the route, clean airline, average statistics and demands, all sorts of stuff before they try that. Yeah, look, it's, it's no bother to them, is it? If they, you know, move them on to somebody else or make them wait for another flight. <clears throat> there's always no-shows, though, isn't there? There's always, there's always some. People running late, trying to get through security, and... Many times I used to be going to the to, to Leon, and I used to have to get into Gatwick in the mornings, and the amount of times I used to leave it to the last second, I'd be rushing like hell to get through security. Uh, too many times I did that, to be fair. It's not good for your health. Easy to pull out the tune. <clears throat> well, Stobart Air had gone bust here. Um, Air Lingus had a couple of them. I can't remember who else was carrying them. Was it BA? Uh, so a lot of the, the, the domestic flights between UK and Ireland have all been cancelled and gone now. So. It's a bit of a, it's a bit strange though, like, I know the industry is struggling right now, but as soon as people get these vaccinations and most countries get up to that kind of 80% of vaccinations, people are going to, like, no one's been abroad in nearly two years, like, everyone's going to travel. Everyone's going to travel. <coughs> the, the, the sector will be booming, but the problem is prices will be high, especially in other countries and restaurants and pubs. I've, I can already see it here, the, the, the prices here already, they're skyrocketing since uh, they've all opened up because they know so many people are turning up. People haven't gone and had a meal out in six months, so, you know, they've jacked all their prices. Have you ever missed your flight? I have never, but I've been barred by the gate agent for flying my own flight. <laughs> um, no. I've, I've, you know, there was a couple of those times having to get the Gatwick for seven in the morning uh, where I've misjudged the time or forget to change my watch back from French time to English time. Like, I might have been back in the UK for a couple of days just to visit family. And the amount of times I've forgotten to, like, maybe change my, my clock, even though your phone automatically does it. Uh, or something stupid and... I've had to get to Gatwick in like 40 minutes. It was absolutely mental. But yeah, I've never... Um, I've never actually missed the flight. But I've come very, very close to the point where literally they're going to shut the door on the plane. <laughs> okay, we're coming into Horsforth, platform number one. I went to check something and the gate agent went up to the captain and said... She was ready to push and the gate was locked. <laughs> yeah, I've, I've, I've cut it very close a few times now. I got a long train ride from Reading to Tootnes. Oh, nice. Uh, what, you got one or have you done one? It's a nice little train ride, that. I don't mind that ride. I've done it a few times. Okay, welcome to uh, Horsewolf, platform number one. Hey, look. Beep, 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 beep. Oh, the Rosas are here too. What are you looking at? It's a, it's a nice uh, route on the train. I actually quite like doing that journey. I've done it a few times, like I said. Uh, quite enjoyed it. Need to move my leg. I've got a dead leg. Oh, 
had physiotherapy today, guys, so I'm, I'm, I'm feeling a bit worse for wear. Seen the Republic of Ireland have, um, have said that I traveled to the UK. Oh, okay, hang on. As booked, you're now the fastest leads running at least six minutes behind schedule. You won't be high up on the Signal's Christmas card list either, so don't expect a straight shot into the station. Okay, so they're not happy that I'm late because I was behind uh, another train that was in delay. Uh, so, yeah, they're not happy with me, apparently. Awesome. Uh, he told me he's sitting pointing at the first officer seat and look back and forth at her. <laughs> I was going to report her, but I just didn't care enough. Never going to see her again, anyways. Yeah. Yeah, the, yeah. I'm missing a couple of little assets. I need to work out what, what's going on. What I'm missing. Uh, <laughs> Have any of you been watching Jeremy Clarkson The Farm? Highly recommend it. I think I said it the other night. I've been watching it. I The episode, I think it's episode two or three with the sheep. Oh my god. I was nearly killing myself. Literally tears coming out. Highly recommend it, guys. I hear Ireland and England are fighting of their meat. <coughs> no, there's not much meat, actually. Uh, back to what I was saying. Yeah, so basically, uh, because of the Delta variant in the UK, they've now put more restrictions on us even traveling to the UK. Um, they have to have like two COVID tests to come into the country and all this kind of stuff. The government here have been boasting about getting their United Ireland. They think they're going to get it. I still don't ever see a United Ireland. Uh, you know, it could be a good thing, but I, I don't see it happening. And if we unite Ireland, we might as well join the kingdom, not be a part of Europe. It makes no sense because Europe do not give a crap about us. So, you know, our best ally is the UK. We get everything through the UK. I know a guy who dealt with the exact same thing at the exact same airport with the exact same gate. <laughs> oh, God. Uh, what channel's on? It's on Amazon Prime. So unfortunately, unless you have Amazon Prime, uh, you, you can't see it, but highly recommend it. If you, any of you do have Amazon Prime, um, I think Amazon Prime's like free for 30 days. Even you just pick up a free 30 day trial. Uh, watch Jeremy Clarkson, The Farm. It's so funny. So basically, he, he owns a lot of land, like 200 acres in the Cotswolds. But. Oh, no, 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 no. Okay, we're okay. I got it. Um, but, like, over the last kind of, like, five or ten years, he's had a man managing his farm, so he's never farmed his own farm. Um, but that guy retired, so he decides to take over. And he's never farmed in his life. It's so funny. It is so funny. Uh, definitely, uh, definitely worth it. Okay, we're going straight into Leeds Platform 9D. About three miles. It's okay, we've got our green lights at the moment. Everything's running nicely.
Uh, Damien Martin, hello mate. A stream without any problems, I must be in the toilet zone. Uh, I don't know, I'm missing assets. It's not all been that simple. Okay, there's a lot of res speed restrictions coming into Leeds. Alright, from now on, the next 10 or so minutes, when I say two airlines, you tell me which livery looks better Southwest or Spirit? Southwest. No, why well, are you not working? Um, yeah, I like Southwest. A lot. Ooh, that's a good one. I'd have to go Itihad. And Itihad actually is probably my favourite airliner that I've ever been on. Um, followed very closely with Singapore Airlines, but Itihad, oh, it was different class. The food, everything was just good. The leg room. Air Canada or WestJet? Ooh, that's a, that's, a, that's a good one. Um, quite like both, actually. Um, probably WestJet a little bit more than Air Canada, maybe. That's, that's actually a really good one. That's a real hard one. Okay, I'm now speeding. We got a yellow light. Full brakes. Oh, well, that's bloody annoying, isn't it? I'm good, mate. How are you? We're just coming to the end of our run. Uh, the Beko Flyer, top, middle, or bottom? <laughs> for, for which one? <laughs> Shall we see if that has passed the danger? No. Nope. We weren't so lucky. Beko Flyer, we'll be back with the. Uh, uh, the Phenom 300 tomorrow, followed by the uh, Beluga on Thursday. James Bay, United new or United old? Mm. United old. I'm not seeing much of the new one, actually. Maybe I should Google it. Yeah, probably the old. Uh, great, yeah, so Berko. So yeah, tomorrow at Phenom 300, I'm not sure where or what we're doing, and then we're going to be doing the Blue Girl on Thursday. So that's the plan for the next two days. If you're around. Okay, we've got a bit of a long wait going on here, don't we? Um... Let's, uh, let's have a little nosy out here. Let's see what's going on in Leeds. Leeds, Leeds, Leeds. We got a nice 170. Is this mine? 9 what? 9 8. Uh, that's 8. That's 10. Where's 9? 
Okay, we're waiting for this fella to get out of here. A bit of train spot here, can we? American or Air New Zealand? Um. I like the black Air New Zealand. Uh, Duck. Just uh, subscribed. Cheers, mate. Much appreciated. Um, I'd probably say American over Air New Zealand. Unless it's the black Air New Zealand. I really like the black one. Delta or A Air Tahiti. I have to have a look what Air Tahiti looks like, so I'm not entirely sure. Air Tahiti. Yeah, I quite like that. Okay, the 158's coming out here. Nice. Still not giving us a look in here though, is he? Aha, here is uh, one, no, that's the 150. Yeah, this is who we're waiting for. He's heading off to Sheffield. Butcher Baker or Candlestick Maker? <laughs> what, is this, what has this become? Here he comes. There's the class 150 heading off to Sheffield. We should be able to take his spot now. Air Black Air New Zealand is just a paint job. Yeah, looks good though. Uh, do the themes. Lord of the Rings was another. <laughs> I haven't watched Lord of the Rings in a long bloody time, actually, in, in all fairness. Okay, we're going into our final stop of Leeds. Now that we've been given access. <laughs> he did a hack on his stream. Um, I actually quite like the Caribbean Airlines. I'd probably go Caribbean Airlines. Uh, Ryan E, evening captain, hello. We'll be back in the air tomorrow night, guys, with the Phenom 300 on X-Plane 11. I haven't decided where I'm flying it yet. We might do an Australian flight. We might be back up in the UK. I do have the new Kimball by um, I and I that I'd quite like to go and visit, so we might do that. I don't know. Um, so yeah, tomorrow night we'll be back with the Phenom 300, 815 guys. So make sure you come and join that. I hope I remember how to fly the bloody thing. Um, and then we'll be flying the Beluga on Thursday, followed by a CCS event on Friday. That is the plan. We have now just come to lead, so we've just done the Harrogate loop. Um, it's actually a real nice scenario, actually.
No, don't stop. We need to keep moving. 9D. I'm in the wrong platform. Keep going. <laughs> uh, I'm talking about the retro liveries of the previous airlines. Air Jamaica was bought by Caribbean Airlines. Ah. Oh. Okay, slowly make our way into platform 9D. What the bloody hell is happening to that train? Is it, is it raining or something? <laughs> I'm too interested to find out what the hell is this? There's still smoke coming out the top of it. Jesus Christ, if this train was coming in, I'd be shitting my pants. <laughs> okay guys we're at platform 9d we're just going to open up the doors that is us done for another evening uh okay so look guys there you go there is the harrogate loop uh if you enjoyed that is a free to download uh map but there are a lot of requirements to check the requirements like i said even though i was missing some there i'm always missing some doesn't matter if i have them all or not <coughs> uh but yeah thoroughly enjoyed that nice little run uh, thank you to everyone in the chat. Thank you to all the mods, members, everyone else in the chat as well. As always, your support is uh, much appreciated. Tomorrow night, we'll be back on X-Plane 11 on the Phenom. Uh, bad luck, we did not complete the scenario. Yeah, we didn't do very good, did we? Um, but yeah, perfect, guys. So look, thank you to uh, Glenn Bixley, James, uh, Ryan E just turned up there, Richard, the Berko Flyer. Uh, been a while since someone else has talked. Gabriel Blue Ridge Gaming, Callum Ford. Bom, 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 bom. Curtis Hard was here. Andy was here at some point as well. Callum Ford said that. Steg. Uh, do, 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 do. Can't see anyone else here. Thomas Robinson. Uh, Damian Martin. Everyone there on Facebook as well. Thank you to everybody. Um, and uh, I'll see you tomorrow night for a Phantom 300 flight. Uh, other than that, for myself, guys, thanks for watching. And I'll see you next time. Bye for now.